Welcome friends, in today's session we are going to see IoT lab program execution of number 2. So here question is develop a program to interface a relay with Arduino board. You can see here in video circle. Here is the circuit diagram. There is a battery, Arduino, DC motor and relay SPDT. So just log in into your Autodesk Tinkercad account and then here just click on create circuits. Here we need to take Arduino, just click it and then just click on the workspace. You can name it. I am just keeping it default. Next take the battery and for the rotate press R. Just place it then flip it. Then next go for the DC motor rotate. place it and now search for relay SPDT just rotate it by pressing R key now just we need to connect all of these as per this diagram you can see here so let's choose black wire with the black node just click the points where you want to turn the way of the wire connection then here terminal 5 then this to the ground and now let's connect the red wire from the positive node SPDT then second wire from the D2 terminal D2 pin of Arduino and last wire from terminal 1 from ter terminal 1 to the motor terminal 2 DC motors terminal 2 this completes our circuit diagram you can just adjust the figure as per your need I am just keeping it as it is you can see we have done with this connection part let's code it here C++ is used so just click on the code firstly just click on the code then click on blocks here select text continue and here the LED bulletin we need to just enter here 2 and here also LED bulletin 2 same for here LED bulletin 2 here the delay of 1000 milliseconds is given 
and here the delay of 5000 milliseconds is given as per the vtu circle code so just close this here once we start the simulation it will pass the current and the circuit will be active and this motor will rotate for 1 second and will stop for 5 seconds that is high current for 1 second and low current for 5 seconds so just check it we have initialized the simulation see here it is rotating for just 1 second then after that 5 seconds it is delay stop that is 1000 milliseconds it is rotating and 5000 milliseconds it's pausing so we can just check this just stop it you can simulate it i will just make it to 10000 so that it will be rotating more and i will make the pause timing as 3000 milliseconds that is it will be stopping for 3 seconds and rotating for 10 seconds just start simulation you can see here it has started rotating now for 3 seconds it will be stopping again after 3 seconds it will be rotating so this is here we have used loop so it will be continuously simulating so I will just pause the simulation and I will just make it as it is as per video circles lab manual and just save it change the name as program 2 and just enter it is saved now I will move to my dashboard here it is loading see this is our today's program we can make it public just click on properties make the public domain here it is private i will just make it public and save the changes it will ask for verification just complete the verification verification part is done just click on the save changes and here our our co program is public and it is just pending it will be completed this completes our second program thank you for watching